ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಗೆ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ಥಾಂ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೋಕಂ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಖಂಡನ್ ಅನುಭವ ತ್ರು ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸಾರ್ವಭೌಮನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಿಗಮಾಂತ ಮಹಾದೇಶಿಕನ್ ಗೋಪಾಲ ವಿಂಶತಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಜಯತಿ ಲಲಿತ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಶಿಕ್ಷಿತೋ ವಲ್ಲವೀನ ಶಿಥಿಲವಲಯ ಶಿಂಚ ಶೀತಳೈರ್ ಹಸ್ತತಾಳೈ ಅಖಿಲ ಭುವನ ರಕ್ಷಾ ಗೋಪವೇಶ ವಿಷ್ಣೋ ಅಧರಮಣಿ ಸುಧಾಂ ಅಂಶವಾಂ ವಂಶನಾಳ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಷ ಬದ್ಧೇನ ಅಂಜಲಿನ ನತೇನ ಶಿರಸ ವಿನತೆ ಸೊ ಹೀಸೇಸ್ ವಿನತೇನ ಮೌಳಿನ ಅಂಜಲಿಂ ಖಲಯಾಮಿ ಐ ಪರ್ಫಾಮ್ ಅಂಜಲಿಂ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಡೌನ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಕುಪ್ಪಿಯ ಕೈಯೋಡು ಒಣಂಗಿಯ ತಲೆಯೋಡು ಇರಿಂದಾರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೊ ಅಂ ಝಲತಿ ಇತಿ ಅಂಜಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಮೆಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಜಲಿ ಮೆಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ನಾಮ್ ಒಣಂಗ ತಾಮ್ ಒಣಂಗ ನಿರ್ಪಾರ್ ವಂದಾರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ತ್ರಿಚಿನ್ನ ಮಾಲೈ ಪೆರುಮಾಳ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಡೂ ದ ಅಂಜಲಿ ಹಿ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದ ಹಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಡಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಜಲಿ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ he he his heart will simply melt oh don't do that i am here to help you up to perform all to shower my karunyam i am here so like that he is there so he is melted by swami desikan's performance of anjali and bowing down to him and because of that anubhavam now krishnan kannan enacts the entire entire gopikas rasa leelas and his old leelas in front in in swami desika's heart so swami enjoys all of them so he he reenacts all that and swami enjoys this in these shlokas and finally and finally he says jayati i so he performs pallande for this gopikas and krishna's that raga thala bhavam the bangles tingling sound and in sync krishna's venuganam he continues to enjoy in this verse as well so vallavina gopikas shitila valaya sinja shitalai the the hands the limbs that that give rise to or the bangles that gives that kinkini sound the tingling sound that so beautiful and sweetest to hear for us and that hasta taalai lalita vritti so hasta taalai when the gopis beat taalam to the music of that venu with their cool hands the the beautiful limbs decorated with the golden bangles so they when the abhinay and they are teaching the abhinayam step known as lalitam to the lord's flute so they perform the abhinaya shastram which is lalitam as the gesture where the dancer places the hands on the appropriate portion of the body and and they perform abhinayam with their eyebrows to mimic their different rasa anubhavam and this communication between the abhinayam of from through their angams through their karatalams through their bangles teaching that to krishna looking into his eyes and thereby he plays the venu the the flute in sync learning these shastrams and he, as an interlude as a communication he plays through the divine music what a wonderful anubhavam here the delectable communication 
denotes the bhavam ragam talam which is bharatanatyam as the rasa krida anubhavam progresses between gopika and krishna that's what is talked about lalita vritti so with the kara talam the with the sukumara anga vilasa abhinayam this is taught to that venu to the divine music from krishna so shikshita it is teaching the venu it is teaching the flute the abhinaya shastras from gopikas teaching to the venu akila bhavana raksha gopavesha vishnu who is that whom they are teaching akila bhavana raksha gopavesha vishnu the vishnu who is the sarveshwaran who manifests everywhere immanent everywhere as antaryami that perumal has come as vasudeva putra and he has taken the form of gopala vesham why paritranaya sadhuna vinachaya chatushkritam dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge in order to protect the humanity the the jagat sagala jagat in order to protect so akila bhuvana raksha gopa veshasya vishnoho he takes the vesham of gopalan in truvaimuri also swami says karainar tuvarudukai khadayavin kali kol kai sharainar kavarada talinirata kurai vilame in truvaimuri 4.8.4 he says he dropped namadva says he dropped the asadharana pitambaram and he now wears the 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 bark the clothes like a like a cowherd boy and he has the mungil tadi the stick the whip in order to set right the dushta pashus the pashus which are wild which are not tamed and he has got a kaire the rope to tie them down and he he wears some money in his waist and he wears mundase the the cap with the cloth on his head i mean from his utriyam he ties down on his head such gopala vesham kandrimeiti iniduhanda kaalai ennum tirunadunnandagam namanga matrimangayalva says kandrimeiti inidu uhanda kaal kaalai kaalai ennum he is the bull who enjoyed rearing the cattle and puruttamana vesham is for krishna and now he is performing the venu ganam as gopala and getting taught by the gopikas and and he is yafaljak vishnoho he is so shining gopavesh adaramani sudayam amshava vamshanalaha and this vishnu niradishey deeptiyale kaadugalai olirappannum kannan because of his deeptiya niradishey deeptiya which is never ever wavering or ending and there is no beginning no end for his deep deeptiya for his for his effulgence for his luster and he illuminates the whole forest and when when um, shobayan dandakaranyam deeptena swena tejasa when rama was there the entire dandakaranyam was was uh, shining glowing illumined because of his being there and similarly shobayan nijaya deeptya yamuna dheera gananam the because of his niradishaya deepti the entire forest is now shining the brindavanam is shining glowing because of his being there because of his divine effulgence because of his majestic appearance and just because he is param jyoti you cannot uh, hide you cannot cover the sun the sun is when it comes it obviously illuminates the whole universe similarly krishna adaramani sudaya amshava vamshanalah krishnans tir adaram the beautiful red coral bimba fruit like lips 
other money it is like the power of money it's like the red coral money and it's so beautiful to even look at and how it would be nice to taste the venu is tasting it every day drinking the adara panam amrita panam from those lips and it is meant for only pirati but now it is also shared with the venu samabhagi tulya bhogi swarita venuna sushtu sumpitam shri bhagavatam says and shrimad bhagavatam talks about this venu and the adara bhanam panam so this amrita panam is consumed by the venu and vamsha nalaha when this is when he is playing that venu that pullangudal is enjoying its being touched by the adaram and drinking that amrita panam as well as krishnan from his looks enjoying the gopikas and their uh, their angams the venu the hands performing the abhinayam to teach krishna to let the divine music in sync with the talam of theirs wonderful anubhavam by swami desika a, a brilliant composition brilliant verse nowhere in this verse in the whole 20 verses he says about krishna there is no word krishna anywhere so the gopis bangles are of larger size than the arm so they are a little loose and they generate that jingle sweet sound and these gopis create palm stroke also to suit the flute tune to match and hence these two talams regulate the facial features and they communicate and the flute and the talams communicate the eyes and the eyes communicate his bro raising eye movements turn of the face the smiles all these will constitute the lovely beautiful facial gestures called lalita vritti and similarly periyalwar also says here siriviral tadavi parimara sengan koda cheyavai koppulika kuruvayar kuruviyar puruvam kudilippa govindan kulal kondu udina pode thus he plays on the flute the who is who is playing the lord vishnu who is the protector of all the world but now in the dress of cowherd boy so amshavan vamshanala one one needs to enjoy the verse vamsha means the flute it is also a vamsam which is the lineage the 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 lean or the hair legal hair to the anandam so when there is a grandson who inherits the property of grandfather means he is enjoying the bliss of the grandfather's property here vamsha nalaha this vamsham the flute he is enjoying the bliss because of the connection to the lips and is enjoying the bliss of amrita panam the term is amshavan vamsha also implies the generation next so the thus the amsha and vamsha are a so beautiful happy blend kavitarkika simham has to be so kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha shriman venkatanadharya kavitarkike kesari vedantacharyavaryome sannidattam sadahadi after enjoying the wonderful divine flute which is being played by krishna in tandem with the jingling tingling bangles of gopikas and by swami in the last verse how he enjoyed that particular communication between the bangles and the flute between the gopikas and krishna now he goes on to beautify or narrate the beauty of the cowherd boy 
who is a who is considered or who is called by swami as the mischievous gopalan kitavaha is a rascal and naughty boy and the the cowherd boy who completely robs and steals the gopika's heart and the youth and that's the beauty of this verse swami enjoys because that vesham is now played by krishna in swami's heart and he bursts out with this wonderful verse chitra kalpa shravasi kalayan langali karnapuram barhotam sa spurati spurita chikuro bandu jeevam dadhanaha kunjabaddham urasilalitam dharayan harayashti gopastrinam jayati kitavah kopi kaumarahari on on one year he has a langali blossom the on one year he wears the langali blossom with langali is the tennam balai flower or the coconut trees um, flower coconut tree sheaf so he wears that flower on one of his ears and on his ears which is which is like a pendant and these days the young girls wear like that the fashion jewelry krishna khannan was wearing in those days itself made of langali flower on in his ears and he has on his dark black curly beautiful dense tresses which by itself by naturally it's so beautiful on his effulgent divine dark hued black cloud like face the the moon like face and the curly tresses falling on his forehead which add which enhance the beauty of krishna's trimukham and on those beautiful black tresses he wears the multi colored peacock feathers blue peacock feathers that is and and that is he is he has got that he has got that on his head which add to the beauty of the curly tresses and the red hibiscus also decorates those wonderful tresses he has in his hand he also one flower which is bandhu jeeva flowers and this bandhu jeeva is a pushpam that he has in his hand and in his chest urasi kunja badam lalita lalitam harayashti in his chest he has the kundri mani kundri mani is a is a yellowish dark and red colored seeds called kunja or kurumani kundrumani which is picked up by the gopas in the forest and nicely tied down using a thread strung together and they affectionately adorably put it on krishna's neck because anybody who brings any flower any necklace anything they want to decorate krishna they want to put it on his body and enjoy his divine beauty because he is a darling of everyone there so with these abharanams one the the tennambalai flowers in his ears the peacock feathers in his head and uh, and in his hand that bandhu jeeva flowers and in his chest the beautiful necklace made of kundri mani strung together with this more and more wonderful abharanams of all the all the vanamalai all the forest products gopala is now completely stupefying the 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 adorable gopis gopikas and they are completely swooned by his beauty matchless beauty and that's what is enrapturing beauty and kaumara hari gopastrina and with his chitra akalpaha which is vichitra abharanams this 
గోపస్త్రీనామ్ గోపికై కౌమార హారి హీ కంప్లీట్లీ రాబ్స్ దెమ్ ఆఫ్ దేర్ యూత్ ఆర్ ద ద ద ద వన్ హూ ఈజ్ ఎంట్రింగ్ ఇన్ టు ఈస్ యూత్ కితవహ హీ ఈజ్ అ కల్వన్ ఉళ్ళం కవర్ కల్వన్ హీ ఈజ్ ద వన్ హూ రాబ్స్ దేర్ హార్ట్స్ రాబ్స్ దేర్ థాట్స్ రాబ్స్ దేర్ మైండ్ అండ్ అండ్ ఈవెన్ నమాల్ వార్సెస్ he 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 robs my bangles my mind my heart and they are not with me anymore pogu nambi un tamarai purai kanninayum sevvai muruvalum aagulangal seyya alidarke notromeyam thogai maamayilargal ninnarul shuduvar seviyosai vai seviyosai vaitu ela aagal poga vittu kulaloodu poyirundu so పోగు నంబి యూ ఉన్ తామరై పొరై కన్నినయం శవ్వాయ్ మురువలం దట్ రెడ్ లోటస్ ఐస్ అండ్ ద శవ్వాయ్ దట్ మంద హాసం దట్ దట్ ఎన్ ఎన్చాంటింగ్ క్యాప్టివేటింగ్ స్మైల్ ఎన్నడయ పందుం కళలం పందు పోగు నంబి గివ్ మీ మై 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 గివ్ మీ మై ద టాయ్స్ దట్ వి ఆర్ ప్లేయింగ్ విత్ గివ్ మీ మై దట్ బాల్ దట్ వి ఆర్ ప్లేయింగ్ ఆల్ దిస్ గోపికాస్ వి ఆర్ ప్లేయింగ్ పరాంకుశ నాయకి వాస్ ప్లేయింగ్ and he simply snatches the ball and runs away and pandu kalalum tandu pogu nambi don't play with minnedai madavargal ninnarul shuduvar munbu nana danjuvan mannudai ilangai aran kaindha maayavane unnudaiya kandaya nanarive nini adugondu seivadhu en ennudaiya pandum kalalum tandu pogu nambi so he is a little mischievous boy mischievous gopalan who completely steals the youth of the gopis and he appears before them with many decorations that completely enchant and excite and completely rapture the enrapture them in in with his beauty that's what is talked about in this vichitramana abharanangal langali karnapuram swavasi kalayam that white colored flowers karnapuram is a kadani barhottam sa spurit chikura so he is the, that's the the mail togai the peacock feather is the abharana and because of that it adds to his beauty and this shabdams gopaveshasya vishnoho in the previous verse and these urasi chikure shravasi all these are also picked up by uh, kalidasa um, in in the yena shyamam vapurati taram kantim apatsyate the parheneva spurit ruchina gopaveshasya vishnoho and this particular verse mega sandesham of kalidasa he says the indra dhanus the rainbow is like the indra dhanus and in that indra dhanus the rainbow background is the blue hued clouds dark clouds this is like the the idai pillai the cowherd boy vishnu sariram this looks like vishnu sariram says kalidasa and swami is inspired by these words and he talks about in this uh, t- taking those words in this verse urasi kunjabaddam lalitam harayashtin dharayan in the tirumarbe he has got the kundrimani malai and this kundrimani malai is so adorably adorned by krishna because it is given gifted by the boys the friends so he loves them whatever that is offered to with love with devotion with interest with passion so krishna accepts andal shuri kala in the malai when when it he the moment andal gave the malai he adorns his head with that malai whereas the vijayanti mala is at a lower level inferior compared to the mala given by andal say swami in godastuti similarly here the kundrimani malai is so beautifully replacing the vijayanti malai and he now shines with the kundrimani malai on this divine chest lalita so the lalita is so so nicely used by desigan alagamika lalita means beautiful the beautiful kundrimani malai lalita also is the name of mahalakshmi so swami indirectly talks about mahalakshmi when he talks about the chest because that's the place where mahalakshmi adorably lives 
and enjoys living there he she cannot stay away from that beautiful large divine chest because agara illen irayum ennu alamel mange urai maarban so shriyaf pati is contemplated by desikan in this verse and swami says gopastrinam jayati kitavah gopi kaumarahari pumsam drishti chittapah chittapaharinam valmiki bhagavan says when rama walks in the forest it is pumsam at the moment anybody looks at rama they they cannot but fall in love with his matchless peerless unparalleled beauty that handsomeness tolkandar thole kandar i the people who look at his shoulders cannot take away take their eyes away of the shoulders people who look at his eyes cannot take their eyes off his eyes and people look at his lips is they are unable to even do that so pumsham drishti chitta pahare paharina with that also this kaumara hari this with this alagiya ila vayas this youthful youthful appearance krishna when when krishna walks with by by his on his own nature on his own accord that itself is enchanting when he has all these flowers adorned on him the langali karnapuram and chik and barhottam sa spurit chikiro bandhu jeevam dadanah kunjabaddam murasilalitam dharayan harayashtim with this kundrimani malai with this peacock feather with this langali karnapuram with this bandhu jeevam dadanah he is matchless he completely makes them fall so gopastri na madhye he is in in the middle of gopastri and he is kaumara hari he robs their heart he robs their youth and this perival tirivalage he robs even the men of their hearts what to talk of these young beautiful girls so gopastri ram kaumara hari gopastri's youth and mind and the heart are abaharikiravan or stolen by this kitavah kitavah is kalvan he is a thief mischievous thief and this mischievous thief is the one who andal says timeishayum sridara engal sitril vandi sidayele nachiyar tirumali he says sridara you always do mischief and we we build small sand sand houses with the sand and you come and kick the kick those houses and destroy them and gopigal sitril yelaitti sirishor ittu velayadum bodudu and all says this and even when they stop he completely kicks those kicks those houses and completely destroys the their houses their sand houses which they are built when they play so and tiruvaimali also in 4.2.9 he says sitrilai tiruvadiyal alithi chidait and they say they will not they will go away from that place he says no you cannot go he stops them from going from that place and he also takes their ball which they play with pandu kalalgalai parikirade in tiruvamali 6.2 he talks about ennudaiya pandum kalalum tandu pogu nambi and he drops he sprinkles the dust on their eyes he pulls their hair he pulls their dress the top dress and all this durta krityam all this um, naughty things mischievous things and rowdyism he does do, he does without being seen by anyone else that's the beauty he does that only between those two they would come to know others will not know he would act as if he is a most innocent impish charming boy whereas when they look at somewhere else he pulls the hair the plight of a gopika like that he is dur he performs such durta kritya and swami enjoys this little rascal and he says kopikitavah oppatra kalvan 
unparalleled kalvan unparalleled mischievous boy and he and this also when somebody is is being pra played such prank by kanan they long to be played again and again because they love it and once they do one once he does to them once they want more and more and trimangi alva says yen nalanum yen niraivum yen chindayum yen valayum kondu ennai aalum kondu ponnalarnda sharum sharindi polilinude punalarangam oor endru poinar and thirudiya sottai muttayaga katti sottu kudai avan thalaiyile vaithu than ooralavum edippittu selvadu pola emberman krishna what he does he not only robs you of your mind your heart your life your everything and he lets you carry the one which he has stolen he lets you as a porter you have to carry until the destination until dehavasanam you have to carry the one which he has robbed you robbed you of not only does he rob but he lets you carry his burden he will not carry and that is what is the beauty here jayati that kalvan pallandu pallandu it is him greetings to him and sri shukar also enjoys krishna in the same anubhavam and those who recite this would would enjoy swami desika shlokams barha peedam nata vara vapu karnayo kannikaram pibratva saha kanaka kanakaga pisham वैजयतीं च माला रंध्रा वेणो अदर सुधया भूरयन गोपबृंद बृंदारण्यम स्वपद रमण ब्राविशत गीतकीर्ति कृष्णन ईज ग्लोयिंग लाइक एन आक्टर ही हेज गाट द पी काक फेदर आन इज हेड कर्णिकार पुष्प इन इज इयर्स पीतांबरम इन इज वेस्ट वैजयती आन इज चेस्ट एंड गोपास् प्रेज हिस् गुणा एंड through his adaramritam he plays the flute and is with his tirvadi sparsham he enchants the brindavanam and shilai kudambai orukadu orukadu chennira mel ton rippu kola panai kachum koorai vulayum kulurmuttin kodalamum kali pinne varigindra kadal vannan vedathai vandu kaane periyalvar anubhavam is also in swami desika's mind and thus he enjoys this brindavanam's bhagyam taking all the pushpam keeping in his on his ears on his head on his chest on his shoulders kundri mani malai on his chest with no other abharanams he completely robs them of their minds and hearts with his matchless beauty with those abharanams kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha this for this gopi kitavaha we also are completely in love hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna shriman venkatanatharya kavitarkika kesari vedanta acharvaryome sannidattam sada hrude namo narayana through this kannan anubhavam quoting vedanta desikas gopala vimsati verses we are enjoying one after the other the wonderful sweetest kannan anubhavams we have covered so far 17 shlokas of gopala vimsati 18th verse begins now today so 18th verse leela yashtim karaki salaye dakshinen yasya danyam amse devya pulaka ruchire सन्निष्टाबाहु मेघश्यामो जयति ललितो मेघला दत्तवेणु कुंजापीटस्फुरीतचिखु गोपकन्या भुजंग वंडरफुल वर्ड्स स्वामी नाउ आफ्टर ही ही हैड in the 15th shloka he bowed down bowed down his head and performed anjali to the venu gana lolan shri krishna and immediately one after the other 
Krishna was so immensely pleased with Acharya Sarvabhauman Shraddhanjali and then he Krishna reenacted one after the other his leelas so for each one he sings palande so in the 16th shloka he said palande for the pulangudal for the flute and in the 17th shloka to the krishna who enchants the mind and stole the hearts of gopis adorning with various kinds of flowers in the ear on the chest on the head and with his amazing handsomeness and he completely robs the gopikas hearts and to that kannan he said palande jayati and now in this 18th verse he says jayati for the devi the, there is one particular devi who is supposed to be the favorite of krishna among those gopikas and to that devi this verse is talked about so danyam leela yashtim dakshine karaki salaye nyasya danyam the the nyasya danyam leela yashtim leela yashtim means beautiful stick a small thin beautiful stick the stick is dhanya is the is the bhagya shali that stick itself is so bhagya shali why bhagya shali because it is being held by the right hand of krishna the right hand which is karaki salaye soft tender red lotus like palms which which holds only shankar chakram or which holds the flute but now he, he holds the in the right hand that the bhagya shali the fortunate stick with a soft tender hand and devyaha pulakaruchire amse sannivishtaha anya bahu the other hand anya bahu the other hand matrukai the other hand is amse is on the shoulder of devyaha one gopastri pulakaruchire so on the right hand he holds the stick with his tender red lotus palm holds that with that finger on the left hand he keeps it on the shoulder of the gopika the chief of gopika or the most favorite gopika of krishna and because of that when he keeps the hand as if he hugs her pulakaruchire she gets goose pimples she gets pulakangitam she gets um, so so her hair stands on its head she feels so excited blissful happy joyous and she she was not expecting and suddenly he keeps his left hand on her shoulders and megala datta venuhu and now the two hands one is busy with the stick the stick is required to take care of the cattle he does not beat them he just uses that and to kind of guide the the and play with the calf with the cattle so one hand has got the stick other hand he hugs the uh, the gopika the devya the devi and so where do we keep the flute it is shoved inserted in the waist cloth or the waist band vaddiyana the megala so it is that there is a waist band in which he has inserted the flute so that it holds tight so the flute is there on his lip uh, hips megala datta venuhu kuncha beeda spurita chikura kuncha beeda spurita chikuro gopaganya bujangaha 
ஸ்புரித சிக்குர குஞ்சாபீட த குன்றிமணி மாலை த ஒன் விச் வி டாக் அபவுட் லாஸ்ட் வேர்ஸ் ஹி வேர்ஸ் த குன்றிமணி த ரெட் அண்ட் அண்ட் ப்ரவுன் ஆர் த பிளாக் ஸ்மால் ஸ்டோன்ஸ் விச் ஆர் பிக்டப் பிக்ட் அப் பை த இன் த ஃபாரஸ்ட் பை த கோபாஸ் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் ஸ்ட்ரங் டுகெதர் ஆஸ் அ மாலா he wore it in his chest in the last one so in the last verse when we talked about we said and uh, we said kunjabadda murasilalitam dharayan harayashtim so he wears as the haram now the same kunjabida spurita chikraha and he has in his in his uh, black dresses he ties the black dresses and he puts this kunjrimani malai the mala to tie the hair together like a man bun he puts the man bun with the using this kunjapita kunjrimani malai this this thread this chain so it's on the head now mega shyamaha he is like the rain laden completely dark hued when what when it is going to rain heavily cats and dogs you look at the sky it's completely dark if the the sunlight is not at all there and it looks pitch dark even though it's a day time and you look at the sky that time you will see that nirunda megam that rain laden barren rain laden clouds which is about to burst into heavy rains how beautifully it looks krishna looks that at, looks like that shyamala varnam and neelamega shyamala varnam and mega shyamam gopakanya bujangaha he is addressed as the darling beloved of gopikas all gopikas so the one who has the left hand on the most favorite gopika called devi is the darling of all gopikas the beloved of all gopikas and lalitam he is so beautiful to behold in our eyes lalitam jayati for him he is jayati he stands victorious he stands like a king he stands like a yuva the prince so he stands so majestically so beautifully so glowing especially because he holds the hand on the most favorite devi the favorite of gopika and on the left hand and the right hand he has got a stick like the sri vidya rajagopalan of manarudi and he has the man bun the the tied down by the kundrimani malai and he has the the flute on the waist how nice it would be and what a beautiful imagery and here so he he does not beat with a stick and that stick is dhanya and that is what swami addresses வட பாக்யம் அணிமிகு தாமரை கையை அந்தோ அடிச்சியோம் தலைமிசை நீ அணியாய் தீஸ் கோபிகாஸ் ஆர் டிசைரஸ் ஆஃப் டச்சிங் ஹிம் டச்சிங் இஸ் ஹேண்ட் அட்லீஸ்ட் ஷேக் ஹிஸ் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் டச் ஹிஸ் ரெட் லோட்டஸ் பாம் தே வாண்ட் டு ஹோல்ட் இஸ் ஹேண்ட் அண்ட் ஹி ஹோல்ட்ஸ் த ஸ்டிக் அண்ட் தே ஆல் ஆர் சோ என்வியஸ் ஆஃப் தட் ஸ்டிக் வாட் அ பாக்யசாலி தட் ஸ்டிக் இஸ் தன்யா devya pulaka ruchire hamse sannivishtanya bahu on the left hand he puts the he hugs the shoulder of devi and the moment he touches her and hugs her this this gopi is such a bhagyashali and hence swami desika addresses her not as gopi but as devi because she is so fortunate the commentators refer here to this devi as the nappinai the nappinai is kanna's krishna's aunt's daughter 
and this napinai is none other than the nila devi amsam and this napinai is is a divine and for her for, to 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 unite with her he he controlled and tamed and he 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 conquered the seven bulls and hence she is the devi she is divine and kannal krishna is so fond of her she is he is in so much love with her and that we know and so when he touches her she gets phulakangita and because of her sparsham he also glows together this divya dampati is so beautiful to look at it's like the the the, the nilamega shyamalan the rain lad and cloud which has got lightning so together they look so beautiful with the shyamala varnam mega shyama jayati to that divya dampati pallande 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 they look so lalitam it looks so beautiful it looks so majestic it looks so uh, what do i say catchy to the eye because it's so nice if when sri rama had conquered the 14000 rakshasas karadushanas single handedly effortlessly and he came back victorious when sita saw tam drushtva satru hantaram when sita saw this in her own eyes from the ashram she came running towards him and hugged him tight and rama enjoyed it so much and this particular verse is the, is is supposed to be recited in our tiruvaradhanam and this particular scene where krishna hugs the shoulder of nappinai in left hand and right hand having the stick this one this vision this particular scene is much more grander than the rama and sita hugging each other after karadushana vadam because there he had to kill few people for the ashrita rakshana here there is no killing here all gopikas all gopas the whole humanity the whole the the universe is protected without any destruction so this is this ashrita rakshana is more beautiful much more grander hence jayati and he he is gopika gopa kanya bujangaha pikas this napinnai kadalan napinnai manala is also the darling of the gopikas because this napinnai is the one who is the purusha akara bhutai the devi and she is the one who recommended all these gopikas to later to krishna when they were when they were when they were uh, in de- in desirous of uniting with krishna being in love with krishna and andal took the cue and she also did the same by having the tripavai known by by calling all these gopikas her friends and being the purushakara bhutai to have them be blessed by krishna itrai paregolvan andre kan govinda etraikum yelai piravikum undannol utromeyavam umakke namachayavam thus the vision of one hand with the stick other hand on the shoulder of the devi and the flute in the waist and the man bun with that beautiful kundrimani malai the blue dark ocean dark clouds like thirumeni he is majestic glowing with this beautiful the darling of gopikas kavitarkika simaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna